Hello, this is Kuwain and Kuwain is set in the outskirts of Bala, just on the north side, not far from the river. And the exhibition is in two of the centre's buildings. This is the first building and it's got quite a ceiling to it, it's about five metres tall. And Nigel constructed these timber frames for me and three metre heights to give um, enough uh, drop for the dragon. And the dragon, as you can see here, is um, 10 foot tall and 10 foot wide, as you remember. And with all the little miniature dragons along the spine. And it's red internal sides for the spirit and soul of the dragon. And the children are making dragon's teeth at the moment, which I find quite entertaining. But a bit more difficult than they realised. It is a bit difficult, but anyway. Um, this is uh, Mother Nature and she's releasing a butterfly. She's walking. She's got a butterfly which is just being released from the cocoon. She's covered in leaves. She's very delicate, as is the way with nature. And this is Dalen and is uh, a Celtic knotwork based on a poem by Gwyn Thomas. This is just a, a smiling flower, which is an indulgent piece as opposed to a conceptual piece with um, the flowers that are a nectar that would um, provide food and sustenance to a butterfly. This is caddis fly and the, the pot that you saw in the foreground there is the, the, the remnant of the caddis fly which happens to be the ancient ancestor of the butterfly and the fish are about to eat it or maybe have eaten it. This is by myself, it weighs 60 kilograms and is built in sections and the gaps that you can see will be filled with cement when it's finally in, in situ but because it's so heavy I've not cemented it. Um, I've been adjusting this piece for some time now so I put some eyeliner on her recently which has done her a world of good actually because she was looking a bit, well, plain to be honest, there wasn't much going on with her. Move now to Mary Jones, and this has been taken by the Bible Society. The Bible Society has um, bought, um, that, sorry, has, has bought a church recently, and this, um, I'm, I'm glad to say, will be apparently displayed in that church. The Bible's open at Genesis 1:1. She's got MJ on the back of the Bible, and her arms and legs are turned into scrolls with all of the uh, Welsh language chapters inscribed into the skin. She's got raggedy clothes because she was quite poor. She took six years to save up for the Bible. Her skin is white because it represents the purity of heart to go on such a, a walk to go and buy a Bible as she did. Sorry, this is very blurry and I don't know why. <laughs> Obviously not focused it very well. And then this is Butterfly and um, it's based on the Mexican idea of a butterfly being the spirit of someone recently deceased. The butterflies are carved out of the skin because she is the, um, she's no longer a butterfly, she's a spirit and she is going into uh, heaven. Um, the butterflies are taken out of the skin rather than put it onto the skin for that reason. She's white uh, because of the concept of rebirth with a butterfly. And she happens to be exoskeletal, although I, I must confess that's not part of the design concept. And this is the one that's been shown in the local hotel. That's been very widely accepted and liked and has actually given me the opportunity at Hay on Y. This is Swift and the Swift is flying through a cloud of 99 butterflies and the butterflies are suspended in, in patches of three, sorry, three patches of 33 butterflies apiece. And the white threads that you can see are wool. These are hairs, this is the first hair. The head um, pulled right back. And it's more of a caricature of a hair, really. This is a seated hair on the left with very long ears. <laughs> this is a, uh, a hair which is dancing which I haven't sold, that's the only one that's not sold so far. These haven't been sold either, but they're a bit more pricey, it's about 120 something like that for these. Uh, 
it's difficult to price work really. And we come now to the final piece called Maiden Flight, which is sold, or allegedly sold. She hasn't seen it all yet, the woman who's bought it, allegedly. Um, but this is the butterfly with wings outspread about to make a flight. And that's it. So we go back now through the exhibition space. The tables are out for the children to work on. We've been doing these educational workshops. And we walk out back through the centre out past by myself life size sculpture that one back into the hall and that's it